My name is Chris Conway. I'm Head of Careers at Shrewsbury School and I've been there since 1993 in that position. And I've been dealing with UK university entrants and American university entrants. When I first began, there were very few students who were interested in the, in the US. And in general, there would be people who were either US citizens who come across the UK, or perhaps foreign nationals, particularly from Hong Kong. With a sprinkling of weaker academic students from the UK who thought that they got a better chance of getting to a good university in America than in the UK. That's changed dramatically. We now have more interest, we have good students taking an interest, we have people who will be applying to Oxford or Cambridge also applying to top American universities. Uh, currently we have about a dozen people applying to, to the US but many of those will also be running applications to UK universities as well, so it'll be difficult to tell how many actually go there. Well, in terms of the US universities, I have to confess to being coloured by the UK system, and I could not really understand how four years in America doing a broader uh, subject a study would actually compare with three years of intensive study on one course in the UK. In terms of admissions, I have to admit to sort of knowing very little and a certain sense of panic about what to do with these people. Uh, and that again has changed dramatically because of experience and actively going out to find out about both the admissions process and more about the courses and the whole concept of liberal arts education. Um, what kind of students would benefit from the uh, liberal arts education? I, I come from a, a teacher at a boarding school environment, which is sort of 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We offer a huge range of extracurricular activities, both sporting, dramatic, music, etc. So we think that a typical product from our school is just naturally going to make a good fit with the American style of education. And I would I am actively encouraging more of our students to look at that now. And that's partly because 18 months ago, I did actually visit uh, New England and several uh, American colleges, and it seems to me that it is just a natural fit. It's much more of one than for many English universities now, which seem to have sort of sent themselves entirely down the academic line. And they're, not, and they're really, nice thing from our point of view is that that fit is not just about the education that's offered, but also for the selection process, where the, the, the whole student is actually considered. We try to get them to consider the process as early as fourth form year 10 at our school. Not seriously, but just to begin to be aware Fifth form, take it more seriously, and the lower six, year 12, is the, is the time for real active engagement. Research, I think. Uh, I think the crucial thing is to see, ask them why they want to, why they're interested. What is it about America? Is it simply they've seen something on television? Is it simply a sort of you know, really just sort of blue sky thinking, or is there some genuine basis why they might suit the American education system? So, conversation, to talk to them, then direct them towards Fulbright Commission website, uh, give them a list of books to look at, persuade them to look at the Yale admissions video, uh, and if they are serious, we, we also hand out a little booklet that we've written, and go get them to college day. I suppose even before college day, if we think they're serious, the next key point is to get them to register for SAT and SAT training. Well, I think various books, uh, rather than just list them here, they're easily available. They're the major ones, but the Fulbright Commission are a fantastic source of information. I think, on top of that, for, uh, for careers advisors, They've got to make sure their students are prepared, so 
they need to be aware of SAT training that's available, uh, and also the uh, possibility of using expert consultants for help. So to that end, we, we've actually been running a conference at Shrewsbury for the last four years to try and give people that, that sort of information. Well, in terms of the, of the annual conference, Shrewsbury is based in the west, northwest Midlands, and really there seems to be a dearth of real information in that area and in the north of England. So that for the past four years, we've run conferences <clears throat> alternating between aiming at potential students and their parents to simply concentrating on the uh, school advisors and offering them help in the, the broad picture, the, uh, the SAT, the particular type of uh, education offered in America, and also sources of information uh, which, which they can uh, grasp, including, of course, uh, financial aid packages.